This is the fourth video tutorial for FRED. It focuses on building a scatter plot and adjusting formulas. We're going to follow a three-step sequence. First, we'll plot again the output gap that we plotted already in the third tutorial. We'll then add a plot of the unemployment gap, which is the deviation of the unemployment rate from its long-term average. And finally, we'll convert to a scatter plot. As usual, we begin by going to the FRED website. And we start the graph by using data tools. The next step is to create your own graph. We begin by adding into the search box the first indicator, in this case again, real GDP or the FRED code GDPC1. To complete the output gap, we have to add to the same line the GDP potential measure from the CBO, GDP POT, and we have to adjust the formula. So we go down to Create Your Own Data Transformation under Edit Data Series 1, and we input the formula. This is the same formula that we used for the output gap in the third tutorial. There's our plot of the output gap. Now we're going to adjust it by adding a new series. In this case, the unemployment gap. First, on a new line, we enter the unemployment rate, UN rate. And now we're going to transform that measure by subtracting it from its long-term average, which is 6.1%. Notice the two lines move together. We're going to convert to a quarterly frequency for the unemployment measure because scatter plots require that both components be on the same frequency. To create a scatter plot, go to the graph area and change the graph type from line to scatter. We'll also try to spruce it up by changing the background color and making the text size larger. we have our first version of the scatter plot. Now let's try changing the data points in the scatter plot from circles to triangles. Or we can choose another option, like squares or diamonds. That looks pretty good, and we can clearly see there is a positive linear relationship between the two series. Thanks very much for watching.